stage today. Yes, Absolutely no doubt about that. This morning, about 7.03, I was, my husband's not here tonight, he'll be here tomorrow. But at 7.03 this morning, my husband and I cried on the phone. Who else cried this morning? And how many of you enjoyed those tears of crying? We did have to wait a little bit longer for the next ruling. And then people got to have to figure it out. But in the end, who's happy about the Prop A ruling? Very happy. Because marriage is coming back to California. It's coming back to Palm Springs within 30 days. The governor has said so. The attorney general has said so. I see a lot of familiar faces. Jimmy Felt mentioned this. Palm Springs, just so you know, in 2008, the minute we knew that we could marry, this city council went into full, full mode to marry as many people as we could. Many of you remember, we shut down La Plaza over here. And I will tell you, some people said, because they knew it was going to a vote in November, what do you mean? What are you doing? You're doing mass weddings on a single night in the city of Palm Springs? I said, no. <laughs> we are going to marry people that for years have unconditionally loved each other for years and years and years. And now they can say, I do. And we married over there and we shut down the block. And we had people all over the valley come and embrace the weddings. I did 12 weddings that night in the little chapel over La Plaza Theater. That's what we did in Palm Springs. You know what else Palm Springs did? We passed 5-0, which is never easy to do in the city of Palm Springs, but we did. Same-sex marriage resolution in the city of Palm Springs, which is important for people to know. As cities, cities cry and foul and debate certain things that this city knew. We knew what the right thing was to do, to embrace marriage equality. We were hoping this day would come a little bit sooner. Some people were very worried that this battle might be decided in the Supreme Court. Ms. Fodex, you were a little worried about that at one point. But now, but now, we have moved forward. And the city of Palm Springs, let me tell you something. We are a city for gay weddings and straight weddings, bisexual weddings. This is a city that's open, it's tolerant, it's diverse, it's exciting, and you know what? All of you make all of that work. Every single one of you. You know, when I was talking to my husband this morning, and I got one of my children on stage, Julia, you want to come over here to stand by me? No. No, shy. My little boy. But you know, we got seven-year-old twins. And one of the worst arguments that I heard for years and years and years was the whole procreation argument. Well, what a couple in their 90s who want to get married going to do? One of the worst arguments in the history. And now that I got to marry in 2000, I married couples that were together almost 50 years, and I married couples that were together less than a year. And the bottom line when they get to saying I do is that unconditional love that they show each other, you and your friends, your family, at you know. And who can ever argue with that? The same thing when you have beautiful children that we unconditionally love, they're part of us and our society. And that argument was thrown out. The whole argument today that was thrown, it shows no harm. We show no harm to anybody. We are unconditionally loving our friends and our family, our partners and our spouses. That is what we are doing. So as the mayor of this great, beautiful, wonderful city, which has changed dramatically in 10 years, I might add, we are with all of you. The city council does it with you. We don't do it by ourselves. Your encouragement, your emails, that's how we move this city forward. We set out a website at 7.04 a.m. on our tourism, telling couples, come to Palm Springs and get married. Absolutely. And it's not just same sex, gay couples, it's straight couples. Come on, baby, we want you. This is our time, our moment in 
history. We now have almost more LGBT travelers coming in our little destination of 50,000 people per capita in San Francisco and Miami and other places because we are Palm Springs. We are Palm Springs. We celebrate it. We love it. Many of you for years, well before I got here 10 years ago, were doing it a little bit more quietly. As the city evolved, you came out and you helped us and you helped us pass resolutions and move forward. And we're on the national stage. I probably did six national interviews today with national organizations that wanted to know what did Palm Springs think about today's ruling? And we're on the mountain because every single one of you that's here at Palm Springs! Let's hear from the mayor of Palm Springs, Stephen Palmer.